we're going to field strip this nylon 66 today. We're going to take it down uh, so that you can clean it. This also pertains to the nylon 77. That's the clip fed, the detachable magazine fed, the nylon Mohawk 10C, and the Apache 77, uh, the green Kmart gun. Uh, it's all pretty much the same and it applies to any case. First thing you always want to do though is you want to make sure you unload the gun. You do that, twist the tube, take the tube magazine out, set that aside. And then the second thing you want to do is make sure that the gun, the chamber is unloaded. And you do that, you want to pull back the, the bolt, check that chamber, make sure it's unloaded. And also you want to make sure that the gun is cocked at the time. To do this, we're going to need at least a, a small screwdriver to take the receiver screws out. And we'll just do that one at a time. Those come out pretty easy. If you've had your cover off before, you know they just twist and you can pull them out. And we'll set that apart. The next thing you want to do is your uh, bolt handle. The bolt handle pulls out. You just wiggle it a little bit and pull it right out. Some of them are a little snug. If you've not had it apart before, it'll be snug. Pull that out. Make sure you don't torque it or twist it too much. Some of the older rifles, the plastic gets brittle and you might break that. Now when you pull your uh, receiver cover off, this one happens that somebody tapped and drilled for a scope, even though it has a scope rail on it. But as you pull your receiver off, be aware of the fact that on the back side here is the ejector. This ejector, if you hold it up and pull that off, that'll just fall right aside, fall right out. You set that aside. Now you're down where you have your striker or your hammer is in the cock position. Your bolt is in a forward position. That's spring loaded. And you want to make sure your safety is on so you don't pull the trigger and let go of that uh, striker. Our next step is to take the, the barrel off. You do that by loosening the barrel block. And there's a screw underneath. You just want to undo that enough. See that rise up a little bit. I'll take it all the way out. And then the barrel just, with a little wiggle, pulls right out of there. And we'll set that barrel aside as well. Now you have your barrel block and your screw. Just finish taking that screw out. Be aware that the bolt will ride forward. And one way you can prevent that is simply push it back and put your, for the time being anyway, put your bolt handle back in and that keeps it from moving any farther forward and surprising you. We'll take that out. Now just a note here, the barrel block and the barrel support, there's a, a little tab on the front and a slot. Those go and it says right on there, it goes to the front. Make sure when you put those back in that slot you go to the front. We'll talk about that later. Now you have your, your barrel, your striker or your bolt and your striker cartridge uh, guide up here and just hold that back and again just wiggle your uh, bolt handle out and that bolt will come right back right out. You'll have your bolt, your bolt spring and the bolt spring guide and we'll set those aside. You might want to keep those together. You don't roll off the table or, or uh, lose them. Set that aside. Now you're basically down to your basic field strip and this is pretty much all you need to do to get to clean your rifle. You can see there's lots of gunk and grit down in there. Make sure you get down in this front part. There's a lot of dirt and grit that gets down in there. And that's pretty much as far as you need to go. Uh, to clean that out, you would use a toothbrush or a uh, barrel brush or a bore brush or some small brush to get down there and just clean the stuff. The thing you don't want to do when cleaning is you don't want to squirt any kind of oil or WD-40 or any kind of lubricant down in there. This stuff is real slick and uh, it's made to operate without uh, lubrication and all lubrication will do is mix with the gunk and the grease and uh, cause all kinds of gunk.